In combinatorial mathematics, the Bell numbers count the number of partitions of a set. These numbers have been studied by mathematicians since the 19th century, and their roots go back to medieval Japan. But they are named after Eric Temple Bell, who wrote about them in the 1930s. Starting with BO equals B1 equals 1, the first few Bell numbers are 1, 1, 2, 5, 15, 52, 203, 877, 4140, 21147, 115975, 678570, 4213597, 27644430. 37, 180 8,806,159 The nth of these numbers, bn, counts the number of different ways to partition a set that has exactly n elements, or equivalently, the number of equivalence relations on it. Outside of mathematics, the same number also counts the number of different rhyme schemes for n-line poems. As well as appearing in counting problems, these numbers have a different interpretation, as moments of probability distributions. In particular, Bn is the nth moment of a Poisson distribution with mean 1. What these numbers count? Set partitions in general, Bn is the number of partitions of a set of size n. A partition of a set S is defined as a set of non-empty, pairwise disjoint subsets of S whose union is S. For example, B3 equals 5 because the three element set A, B, C can be partitioned in five distinct ways. A, B, C, A, B, C, B, A, C, C, A, B, A, B, C. B O is 1 because there is exactly one partition of the empty set. Every member of the empty set is a non-empty set, and their union is the empty set. Therefore, the empty set is the only partition of itself. As suggested by the set notation above, we consider neither the order of the partitions nor the order of elements within each partition. This means that the following partitionings are all considered identical. B, A, C, A, C, B, B, C, A, C, A, B. If, instead, different orderings of the sets are considered to be different partitions, then the number of these ordered partitions is given by the ordered bell numbers. Factorizations If a number n is a square-free number, then bn gives the number of different multiplicative partitions of n. These are factorizations of n into numbers greater than 1. Treating two factorizations as the same if they have the same factors in a different order. For instance, 30 is the product of the three primes 2, 3, and 5, and has five factorizations. Rhyme schemes The bell numbers also count the rhyme schemes of an n-line poem or stanza. A rhyme scheme describes which lines rhyme with each other, and so may be interpreted as a partition of the set of lines into rhyming subsets. Rhyme schemes are usually written as sequence of Roman letters, one per line, with rhyming lines given the same letter as each other, and with the first lines in each rhyming set labeled in alphabetical order. Thus, the 15 possible four-line rhyme schemes are AAAA, AAAB, AABA, AABB, AABC, ABAA, ABAB, ABAC, ABBA, ABBB, ABBC, ABCA, ABCB, ABCC, and ABCD. Permutations The bell numbers come up in a card shuffling problem mentioned in the addendum to Gardner. 
If a deck of N cards is shuffled by repeatedly removing the top card and reinserting it anywhere in the deck, with exactly N repetitions of this operation, then there are an N different shuffles that can be performed. Of these, the number that return the deck to its original sorted order is exactly BN. Thus, the probability that the deck is in its original order after shuffling it in this way is BN, NN, which is significantly larger than the 1, N probability that would describe a uniformly random permutation of the deck. Related to card shuffling are several other problems of counting special kinds of permutations that are also answered by the bell numbers. For instance, the NTH bell number equals number of permutations on N items in which no three values that are in sorted order have the last two of these three consecutive, in a notation for generalized permutation patterns where values that must be consecutive are written adjacent to each other, and values that can appear non-consecutively are separated by a dash. These permutations can be described as the permutations that avoid the pattern 1 to 23, the permutations that avoid the generalized patterns 12 to 3, 32 to 1, 3 to 21, 1 to 32, 3 to 12, 21 to 3, and 23 to 1 are also counted by the bell numbers. The permutations in which every 321 pattern can be extended to a 3241 pattern are also counted by the bell numbers. However, the bell numbers grow too quickly to count the permutations that avoid a pattern that has not been generalized in this way. By the Stanley Wilf conjecture, the number of such permutations is singly exponential, and the bell numbers have a higher asymptotic growth rate than that. Triangle scheme for calculations. The bell numbers can easily be calculated by creating the so-called bell triangle, also called Aitken's array or the Pierce triangle after Alexander Aitken and Charles Sanders Pierce. Start with the number 1. Put this on a row by itself. TH row. Determine the numbers not on the left column by taking the sum of the number to the left and the number above the number to the left, that is, the number diagonally up and left of the number we are calculating. Repeat step 3 until there is a new row with one more number than the previous row. The number on the left-hand side of a given row is the bell number for that row. Has given a formula that combines both of these summations. Generating function The exponential generating function of the bell numbers is in this formula. The summation in the middle is the general form used to define the exponential generating function for any sequence of numbers, and the formula on the right is the result of performing the summation in the specific case of the bell numbers. One way to derive this result uses analytic combinatorics a style of mathematical reasoning in which sets of mathematical objects are described by formulas explaining their construction from simpler objects, and then those formulas are manipulated to derive the combinatorial properties of the objects. In the language of analytic combinatorics, a set partition may be described as a set of non-empty urns into which elements labeled from 1 to n have been distributed and the combinatorial class of all partitions may be expressed by the notation here, is a combinatorial class with only a single member of size 1, an element that can be placed into an urn. The inner operator describes a set or urn that contains one or more labeled as elements, and the outer describes the overall partition as a set of these urns. The exponential generating function may then be read off from this notation by translating the operator into the exponential function and the non-emptiness constraint 1 into subtraction by 1. An alternative method for deriving the same generating function uses the recurrence relation for the bell numbers in terms of binomial coefficients to show that the exponential generating function satisfies the differential equation. The function itself can be found by solving this equation. Moments of probability distributions The bell numbers satisfy Dobashi's formula. This formula can be derived by expanding the exponential generating function using the Taylor series for the exponential function, and then collecting terms with the same exponent. 
It allows Bn to be interpreted as the nth moment of a Poisson distribution with expected value 1. The nth Bell number is also the sum of the coefficients in the nth complete Bell polynomial, which expresses the nth moment of any probability distribution as a function of the first n cumulants. Modular arithmetic The Bell numbers are bay touch its congruence. If P is any prime number then or, generalizing because of touch its congruence, the Bell numbers are periodic modulo P. For every prime number P, for instance, for P equals 2, the Bell numbers repeat the pattern odd odd even with period 3. The period of this repetition, for an arbitrary prime number P, must be a divisor of and for all prime P 101 and P equals 113, 163, 167, or 173 it is exactly this number. The period of the Bell numbers to mod yellow n are 1, 3, 13, 12, 781, 39, 137,200, 157, 24, 39, 2343, 28 billion 531 million 167 thousand and sixty one, 156, 25 trillion 239 billion 592 million 216 thousand and twenty one, 411 thousand 771, 10 thousand 153, 40 Eight one million six hundred and forty seven thousand and eighty four nine one seven oh three oh seven six eight nine eight six one four six eight three three seven seven two oh eight one five oh five two six one oh seven seven one eight eight oh two nine eight one thirty thousand four hundred and fifty nine five six eight nine seven two four seven one oh two four one oh seven eight six five two eight seven oh two one four three four three oh one nine Nine seven seven one five eight five three four eight two four four eight one ninety six three hundred and seventy billion nine hundred and five million one hundred and seventy one thousand seven hundred and ninety three one five five one oh seven five four nine one oh three six eight eight one four three two eight three one hundred and seven million one hundred and ninety seven thousand seven hundred and seventeen one hundred and fifty six Integral representation in application of Corky's integral formula to the exponential generating function yields the complex integral representation. Some asymptotic representations can then be derived by a standard application of the method of steepest descent. Log concavity The Bell numbers form a logarithmically convex sequence. Dividing in by the factorials, Bn, n, gives a logarithmically concave sequence growth rate. Several asymptotic formulas for the Bell numbers are known. In Beren and Tasso the following bounds were established. Moreover, if then for all, where and the Bell numbers can also be approximated using the Lambert W function, a function with the same growth rate as the logarithm, as Moser and Wyman established the expansion uniformly for us, where and each and are known expressions in the asymptotic expression was established by de Bruijn. Bell primes. Gardner raised the question of whether infinitely many Bell numbers are also prime numbers. The first few Bell numbers that are prime are 
7 corresponding to the indices 2, 3, 7, 13, 42 and 55. The next bell prime is B2841, which is approximately 9.3074015 times 106,538. As of 2006, update, it is the largest known prime bell number. Phil Carmody showed it was a probable prime in 2002. After 17 months of computation with Marcel Martin's ECPP program Primo, Ignacio Laro de Canestro proved it to be prime in 2004. He ruled out any other possible primes below B6000, later extended to B30447 by Eric Weistein. History The Bell numbers are named after Eric Temple Bell, who wrote about them in 1938, following up a 1934 paper in which he studied the Bell polynomials. Bell did not claim to have discovered these numbers in his 1938 paper. He wrote that the Bell numbers have been frequently investigated and have been rediscovered many times. Bell cites several earlier publications on these numbers beginning with Dobinsky which gives Dobashi's formula for the Bell numbers. Bell called these numbers exponential numbers, the name Bell numbers, and the notation BN for these numbers was given to them by Becker and Reardon. The first exhaustive enumeration of set partitions appears to have occurred in medieval Japan, where a parlor game called Genjiko sprang up, in which guests were given five packets of incense to smell and were asked to guess which ones were the same as each other and which were different. The 52 possible solutions, counted by the bell number B5, were recorded by 52 different diagrams, which were printed above the chapter headings in some editions of the Tale of Genji. In Srinivasa Ramanujan's second notebook, he investigated both bell polynomials and bell numbers. Early references for the bell triangle, which has the bell numbers on both of its sides, include Pierce and Aitken.